Yeah, look at that. We got another beautiful spring day happening today. The sun is shining. It's not super warm, but it's not super cold. So at least I'm not going to freeze my fingers off when I get to the boat. <laughs> another positive sign is all the ice is finally gone in all the ditches. So that is a step forward. No ospreys are back yet, but yesterday and the day before I saw a number of turkey vultures flying around. I think those guys are migratory as well, you tell me. But when the osprey come back, they usually are here by, I don't know, second, third week of April, obviously depending on weather. Haven't seen them yet, but that's going to be a sure, sure sign of spring and summer returning in this area. Sound beautiful. Boy, what a gorgeous day. But I'm going to probably say this to you tomorrow as well because I'm uh, I only have one thing I want to do on the boat today and then I'm going to come back and do some more tomorrow. Got other stuff to do at home today. Oh, nice to be walking on grass again. Hello, boot. And look at that, nice to be looking at open water again. That's for sure. Wow, geez. Nice. Nice. Here we go. Back aboard Boogaboo. <laughs> yeah, back aboard Boogaboo. Gonna unlock the cabin door and go inside. I, I said there's only one thing I want to do today. No, there's, there's a lot of things I want to do today, but there's only uh, one thing that I'm going to have enough time for today to do today. And that is hook up the shore power. Because uh, I emailed the marina the other day and asked if the shore power was on as was uh, scheduled. It was supposed to go on Monday and I was told, yes, shore power is on. So today I'm just gonna hook up the shore power real quick, get the batteries charging, and that's probably gonna be it for today. But I'll be back tomorrow, so don't worry, I'm, I'm not done here yet. Already, shore power is plugged into the boat, plugged into the actual shore power connection. So let's see if we have any power. But before I do that, before I turn on the shore power, I am going to just turn on the batteries real quick. And I am going to see if I can see what the uh, voltage is showing on my little remote voltage showing thing. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's turn on the batteries with you. Oh, look at that. Oh, we have voltage showing. Now remember, this thing has not been charging 
all or sorry all winter long and that is showing 10.7 volts not too bad i know a lot of guys are going to say oh my god your battery's dead so hold on let me just take this little guy off there we go had an an nd filter i picked up some nd filters hopefully make the colors look a bit better but i just took that off to show you 10.8 volts is what it's showing now 10.7 10.8 so that's not too bad not it's not completely dead i think some guys would say that is completely dead but that's okay it'll come back i think that's where we were sitting uh last year this time now i don't need the other side on but i'm just going to turn on this side and see what we have so that is showing above but above about 80 volts by the gauge versus this one's a little bit lower so i'm going to shut this one off leave that one as is and i'm going to get my uh, multimeter and just going to test for the actual voltage that's coming through there now we have lights which is just going to be killing the batteries okay everything else is shut off on the dc panel i only have the cabin lighting for obvious reasons i'm just going to kill these lights for a second until I figure out what's going on with the uh, uh, charger, battery charger. Alrighty, I dug out my um, multimeter, and as you can see, it's showing 121, 122 volts of AC power coming through. So that is full shore power, which is what we need. So that's a good thing. Shut that off. Let's see what this guy is telling us. It's showing conditioning, so it is doing something. 15 volts. I'm just gonna go back and grab this ND filter and put it back on here. Let's see why in just a second. Wink. I just wanna see yeah, if that shows a little bit better for you guys. Yeah, I think you can actually see what's going on there, right? Yeah, so 15.3 volts, 9.6 amps it's dropped down to now. And it says it's in the, its conditioning cycle. I'm going to pop this ND filter off again real quick. There we go. Now, just so you understand what this ND filter is doing, you, now you notice how that light is really, really bright on the screen, or at least it is to me, so you probably won't be able to read those numbers. And if I look outside... Oh, I'm gonna stand up here. And now you see how bright the water looks. Let me put this on. Yeah. Now you see that the the color looks a little bit deeper, a little bit richer, not so washed out. Oh no! Watch, I'm gonna pull it off again and wink. Can you see a difference? Back on. Should add a little bit of contrast. Turn that off. Back on. Well, we're going to play with it this summer. Or when we're actually outside and we're going to see <laughs> if it works or not. No, I have, this is a number 16 ND filter. I know I'm getting way off subject here with my batteries and such, but this is a number, I'm pretty sure it's 16, goes 8, 16, 32, 64. I'm pretty sure this is a 16. No, sorry, this is a 32, ND32. So I'm going to have to just experiment with this and see how well it works. The whole reason I really got these things is that I found that if it was really bright behind me and I'm filming myself, yeah, I noticed that it would get brighter and darker and brighter and darker in the background. So let me just take that off and see if that changes. That. Now you see how the background looks really 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 bright really washed out and i'm going to put that filter back on Wink. and i think it gives see a little bit more definition you can actually see uh, the ribs in the framing of the roof whereas with this off not so much you just see really really the bright reflection off the back of the steel and that's what these things are supposed to help with see you can see the framing a little bit better. 
I can anyways on this tiny little screen that I'm looking at. So, But I digress. Let's open the engine hatch for the first time this year and see what it looks like. Who's the filter ball? I know, I know. Stand by. Chan some doors out of the way, carpets out of the way. Now let's hit this big button on the helm and see if there's enough juice to lift it up. Uh, look, plenty of power. There she goes. Oh yeah, back down in the bilge, hoo-ha. And let's see what these lights and buttons and everything are saying here on the actual charger itself. Now, if you hadn't seen it, I shared over the winter uh, my installation video for this thing. That's the uh, Pro Mariner Pro Nod at 1230p, which is the same unit I put in our last boat and it worked fantastically. And so I put it in this one and it's still working fantastically. Look at that. So the numbers are uh, the same as the ones that were shown on the helm. And this is, I got all green lights. It's all good. It's all good, man. Still putting out 15.3 uh, 15 volts, and it's dropped down to 8.3 amps, and this is part of its conditioning cycle. Whatever it does, I think it kind of gives it a shake and a stir down on the batteries. You probably can't see that because it's dark in there. I apologize. I apologize. Yes, oh, I'm very happy, so I'm going to leave that going for now. Now, one final thought before I close that, close this engine hatch. Uh, the one thing I'm so looking forward to doing this year is finally, finally finishing up my cleaning of the engine room. Pull the batteries out, clean around then, them, and do my final uber-duber cleaning down here. And then, of course, I'll show you a video of yeah, my before, during, and after of that process. Anger Girl has often, uh, you know, when I'm watching the boring videos and she's beside me on the couch or watching this on the big screen, she says, oh, it's nice and clean down there. She says, does anybody ever remark about how clean it is? And I said, yes, a couple of people have said, boy, it's such a nice in uh, clean engine room. And my reply is always, it's clean-ish, but not perfect. It will be perfect when I'm done. And I'm so looking forward to that because not to show off or anything, it's just that we have such a nice boat and that we're going to keep this for a few more years and it's it's all there it's all it's just there for me to make as perfect as i can because i love it i'm going to take anchor girl out for dinner again today it is saturday of the week oh paul you gotta you gotta do the clock hold on there right time and another reason I like to do that is um, if we're not here during the week on the boat and we come back and if the clock is off or if the clock on the microwave is flashing, I have that shut off right now because I don't need it. But uh, then we know that the shore power had been disconnected for a period of time for whatever reason. So it's good to have. It's, it's almost like a uh, silent alarm on the boat to let you know that you've lost shore power at some point. Okay, put my multimeter away. I'm not going to put it away away. I will do that when I'm back again tomorrow. So I'm just going to set that on the table. It's okay, anchor girl. I'm going to put that away tomorrow. Uh, but tomorrow's job, again, is going to be putting um, the, uh, the other part. Put the fenders on, put the dock lines on, and get that all set to go for launch. Hoo-ha. Uh, and uh, one other project I got to do. Uh, I shared with you a video uh, last season of me replacing these bulbs. I think it was just a short video. Problem is, I said they were great bulbs, but they're crap. And they flick, and they burn out, and they're garbage. So i got to buy new ones. i got to find some better quality ones on the Amazons and replace all these little guys this year. Add it to the list. Ooh, sounds like somebody's coming. I better go before I start talking to people. <laughs> okay, that's it. Um, I gotta go. Uh, yeah, it's already starting. It is only, we're not even in the water and there's people coming by and talk, 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 which I love to do. I talk too much. Yes, my dear, watching this video, you can already uh, back me up on that, but 
Um, so I talk a little bit. One guy leaves, next one guy said, listen, I got to go. I got to take my lovely wife out for dinner and I got to get going. So I am going to cut this one off here. Like I say, very happy that the charger is going. Yeah, still doing its conditioning thing, which is a good thing. And like I say, I'll be back tomorrow, which in your time is going to be probably a few days from now. But I'll get this video up as quickly as I can, simply because it's so exciting to be back in the boat, shore power on. We're getting that much closer. Hoo-ha. As always, look forward to your comments, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.